deep topic titled when the mind is sick when the mind is sick Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 3 question number one can the mind be sick the Bible says yes the Bible even tells us that the sickness can be very serious Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 3 are we there it says this there is an evil among all things that have done under the sun that there is one event unto all yea also the heart of the sons of men is full of evil and madness is in their heart while they live and after that they go to the dead can the mind be sick the bible says yes can the mind be evil the bible says yes the Bible even says the art of man is desperately wicked. When the mind is sick, a lot of things go wrong. This is why the Bible rings out loud and clear. In Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23, the Bible rings out loud and clear. The Bible commands and rings out and proclaims in 4.23 Proverbs say keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it out of it are the issues of life say because the issues of life they are coming from your heart say keep it diligently many things could go wrong with the mind there is madness in the heart of men there is malaria in the heart of men. There is kwashoko in the heart of men. There is tuberculosis in the heart of men. There is coughing in the heart of men. There is leanness in the heart of men. Plenty of sicknesses in the heart of men. This is a very serious matter. Once something goes wrong at the mind level, it will affect the whole of your destiny. A lot of people who are seeking for deliverance day and night will make more progress if they sit down, analyze their mind, analyze their hearts, analyze the thoughts they are having and do something about it. Because generally a man is a product of two things. What you think and what you see. A product of two things. The Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. There is plenty of sick mind these days. All kinds of terrible things are happening. And sometimes you look at some people and wonder whether they do any thinking at all. There are plenty of signs of sick mind. I pray that tonight, all the minds that are sick, that the Lord will deliver them. When a mind is sick, worry face the heart although the worry will not bring any result they will still engage in worry 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 some lose weight some develop high blood pressure because of worry anxiety worry anxiety is a sign of a sick mind feeling of uselessness you just think well, what is it all about what's the use it's a sign of a sick mind having depressed mood nobody can tell when you are happy and when you are sad all of a sudden your face forms a cloud and your mind goes down as if a heavy luggage is placed on your heart that's depression a sick mind unexplainable sadness is a sign of a sick mind no wonder jesus spends so much time addressing the mind addressing the mind Say that we shall love the Lord your God with all your mind. All the feeling of hopelessness is a sign of a sick mind. All the feeling of guilt, especially things that you have confessed that the Lord has forgiven you, and your mind is still going back there, 
It's a sign of a sick mind. Agitation. Some people are so agitated. I need more things agitated. I need more things are sweating. It's a sign of a sick mind. Perplexity. Everything you look so perplexed is a sign of a sick mind. The lack of confidence. Some have so low confidence in their own abilities. The reason some people will be baby prophets forever is because of lack of confidence. The mind is sick, very sick. No wonder the Bible says, above all things, keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the ages of life. God is interested in the mind. The devil too is interested. Do you have a sick mind? Do you have an opportunity tonight to pray the infirmity out of your heart? It's a different thing to have a sick arm, a sick leg, a sick head. But when the mind is sick, it's a terrible situation indeed. Inability to concentrate. It's a sign of a sick mind. Some people cannot concentrate on anything for a reasonable length of time. If he carries a book, he cannot concentrate. If he pray, he can't pray for long because he can't concentrate. Unfortunately, one of the key factors of a good prayer warrior it must be somebody who can pick a prayer point, concentrate on it, and begin to pursue it, begin to pursue it until there is a result. Now somebody said, Father, in the name of Jesus, and the heart has gone to you. Father, in the name of Jesus, the heart is in London. It won't be able to get results. Decrease in positive thoughts. It's decreasing. Positive thoughts are decreasing. It's a sign of a sick man. And without apologies, may I say all the uncontrollable anger is a sign of a sick mind. Wife was talking rubbish to the husband. The husband too was talking rubbish to the wife. Wife got angry. He grabbed the box guitar the husband was playing and smashed it on his head until the head broke the guitar. The man too in anger jumped up. He looked around the house to look at something Madame has bought into the house. It was a large television set. He carried the light television set, sweating under it because it was heavy, and pushed it out through the window to smash it on the floor. Guitar is broken. Television is broken. Wasting their money. Anger is madness of the heart. So anybody who gets angry he is basically, as far as the Bible is concerned, a madman. He's insane. He may be wearing clothes. But he's a madman. So if your husband is the angry type, he's mad. If you are the wife who gets angry, you are a mad woman. Because anger is insanity of the mind. All this sense of fear of dying. Sense of fear of dying. And because you are so afraid of dying. There are drugs you swallow in the morning. There are drugs you swallow in the afternoon. There are drugs you swallow in the evening. Because you do not want to die. Yeah, am I standing before you here? The last time I took an injection was 1974, when hot oil poured on my leg. Since that time, I stand a bye-bye to injection. But there are some, any small thing, they are afraid of that. And the Bible says, He who is struggling to save his life shall lose it. When you begin to think of suicide, the sign of a sick mind. When you lack motivation, you can't really do anything until somebody is pushing you. You will not read until the exam is closed. The sign of a sick mind. Frequent desire to be crying. Any small thing, some people will just break down and cry. Break down and cry. And cry and cry and cry. It is a sign of a sick mind. Feeling of isolation. Nobody wants you again. Abandon you. That's what you are thinking. The sign of a sick man. The Bible says, insanity is in the heart of men. Why they live. So plenty of sick people in the house of God who do sickening things because the mind is already having malaria. The human mind is the greatest vagabond in the universe. 
And if you don't control it, it will turn you to a vagabond person. When somebody is constantly discouraged, this much you get discouraged. Get discouraged. One day somebody phoned me. I said, excuse me, sir. Say yes, ma. I said, have I done anything to offend you? I said, no, ma. I said, but when you answer my call now, your voice was very low. I see have offended you. I said, no, ma. Sick mind. It takes a very strong mind to control a bad tongue. If your mind is weak, you will not be able to control your mouth. And many aspects of your life, you will not be able to control. It takes a strong mind to say no. There are some minds who cannot say no to anything evil. Anything they will switch them to, they just switch to it. There are people with vacant minds. And that vacant mind becomes a dumping ground for all kinds of rubbish. But the danger is this. A great danger indeed. It is possible for you with your own hand to invite the enemies into your mind. You write a courier letter to the enemy to come into your mind. It's even a very dangerous problem if your mind is sick and you are not aware. That's why somebody has said, win a man's mind and you have him. Capture his thoughts and you control him. Satan therefore fights tooth and nail for the mind. There are people tonight that they really need to cry to God because their prayer life is being affected by this vagabond thinking. Let me tell you one secret. Your life is determined by the state of your mind and what you feed into your mind. Because your mind is the gateway to your spirit, your soul, and your body. It may be the conscious mind, it may be the subconscious mind. Because the mind can be conscious or subconscious. In the subconscious mind, we find long forgotten memories and experiences of childhood stored there. When you now combine those thoughts that are stored in your mind since you were a little boy or little girl, with your physical inheritance and your environment, mix it with your cultural background and your own temperament, that mind will become very mad very soon. With the conscious mind, which is only a small part of our whole mind, we can accept deliverance and with that we can conquer every other thing that is occupying our mind. Failure to win the battle of the mind will be failure in the battle of life. For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Don't take tonight's teaching lightly. Because it's to the mind the devil offers suggestions. Suggest the power of suggestion into the mind is so terrible that the devil who made our master Jesus to sweat drops at the Garden of Gethsemane. That's why it's dangerous for your mind to be wandering during prayers. That's why the mind is a theater of satanic surgery. This is why the extent to which the devil can control your mind is the extent to which he can control your life. In fact, as a matter of necessity, the devil must work with the human mind in order to get results. And once he's able to grab that area, he will grab the whole of the body, soul, and spirit. There are plenty of afflictions that we battle with. They originate from the mind. The mind is therefore a center of warfare. What many people don't realize is this. Satan has instant and immediate access to each of our minds. Satan has complete picture of our thoughts and imagination, including our motives, our intentions, our secret ambitions. He knows them. If your mind is wandering around pollution, lust, pride, he knows. He knows very well. Is familiar with every weakness and every strength of each of us. And as permitted by you, either by carelessness or ignorance, it can plant or remove ideas from your mind. That's why it's so easy for people to memorize radio advert, television advert, but Bible passages problem. Difficult. 
Because there is a devil that will remove that scripture from the mind. Many of us like to forget our past mistake, our past fault. The devil does not forget. The devil is an expert at counterfeit. Win a man's mind and you have him. Capture it, his thoughts and you control him. This is why there is so much, so much misbehaviors and terrible things happening to believers. The mind has not really been brought under the control of the blood of Jesus. When the mind is sick, it can result in physical and mental illnesses. When the mind is sick, it can result in failure and defeat. When the mind is sick, it can be the reason for your poverty. Because poverty is not lack of money. Poverty is lack of wealth creating ideas. When the mind is sick, it can lead to family breakup. It can lead to oppression. It can lead to bad reputation. It can lead to suicide. It can lead to chronic sickness. When that mind is sick. When the mind is sick. It can lead to emotional breakdown. It can cause family strife and profitless hard work. This is why the enemy struggles so hard to gain control of the mind. I'm praying for somebody tonight. The enemy has made too much progress in your mind. I'm praying here that by the power of the Holy Spirit, that the progress of the enemy in your heart will be arrested. It 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 will be arrested. In the name of Jesus. Because of the centrality of the mind in our warfare, satanic agents, they seek to control other people's minds. And they use all kinds of techniques. They can use your photograph. They can use your hair. They can use your fingernails. They can use something that has touched a part of your body. Why do you think people sometimes dry their clothes outside? By the time they go and collect the clothes, somebody has cut a little piece from it. Why do people fall asleep sometimes you find that somebody has cut off part of their hair? It is control. Why is it that plenty of former boyfriends having photographs of ladies, they refuse to hand the photographs over? So they use various satanic techniques to control people's mind. To give a person headache, they can use his ear and terrible migraine will be happening. They can use a person's photograph. They can also use a candle. They will light the candle and make incantations. If they want to kill or harm the person, they use a black candle. And if they keep this for a week or longer, with their black candles, the person gets seriously sick and the person may even die. Black candle, they use it for death. Red candle, they use it for lustful sex. Other colors who have their meanings. If you have ever submitted your photograph to any prophet or you lost your hair, you lost your clothes, you lost your shoes, mysteriously, they may be controlling you from somewhere else now. I'm praying for somebody. Whatever has been stolen from you that the enemy is using against you shall catch fire in the hand of the enemy. You shall catch fire in the hand of the enemy. They use it to control people. And this is a very, very serious matter. A serious matter indeed. They can cast a love spell on somebody using articles of clothing or photographs. Or for those men who eat all over the place, they can wash their breasts into a cup. Wash their vagina into a cup. Then use it to cook for you. And then you eat it. And you are in trouble. Your wife at home becomes useless. And you are running around distributing your salary to strange women. They are already controlling your life. I pray for such people that the Lord will set them free. <laughs> Certain problems that people experience in life is when evil powers are struggling to control your mind. 
to some people in order to control them they give them drugs they will become drunkards they will become addicts knowing that once they take those things their mind is never the same they thereby control the person all this demonically inspired food that they say some people should go and be distributing they are controlling you sharing of underwears they can use it to control your destiny today you need number one to recognize that the mind can have a problem two you need to be able to identify the problem three you need to know that the lord wants to take total control of your mind as written in luke chapter 10 verse 27 and he answered said thou shalt love the lord thy god with all thy heart with all thy soul with all thy strength with all thy mind and thy neighbor as thyself and he said to him thou hast answered right this do and thou shalt live god wants to take control of our heart for you need to renounce powerful dark spirits that are controlling the mind you need to renounce them those powerful dark spirits five you need to take up warfare against those spirits tonight and that's why we are here all eyes closed all eyes closed but if you are not born again if you have not surrendered the life to jesus whatever you are why all eyes are closed just raise up your right hand and say what i'm going to say after say father in the name of jesus i come before you now lord jesus come into my life take control of my life as from now i say bye bye to the devil i enter into the kingdom of light in jesus name amen i thank you for your children who have joined this program Meet each and everyone at the point of their needs. Do great, marvelous, wondrous, outstanding things in their lives in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 I thank God for those of you who surrender your life to Jesus Christ in this program. God bless you in Jesus' name. You've taken the most important decision in life, and I'll guess with you. For more information, counseling, and prayers, Kindly send your name, your address, your telephone number to the WhatsApp number displayed on the screen. You can also send us an email. The email address is also displayed on the screen. And we shall be getting across to you shortly. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Lay one hand on your head and the other one on your chest. And let your email roar like thunder. I'm going to pray with you first. Later you will start to pray for yourself. As many people as love their destiny here tonight, to allow their amen to roar like thunder. During this short prayer, I want to pray. Anything can happen. But concentrate. Don't lose focus. Forget any problem that you brought here now. Your mind may be the fertilizer keeping the problem in place. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray right now that as many people as are here tonight, and the mind is a ladder through which all kinds of troubles are coming in. Let the ladder of darkness open the gates of the mind. Break now! Break, 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 break. Occupying that mind, you the strong man that has been controlling this woman. You cannot con continue the control. I know you have been hiding there for years, but you cannot continue the hiding game. So you that strong man controlling the mind. 
controlling the soul, control the spirit. Come out now. Use your hold. 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 In the name of Jesus. You can't continue. Enough is enough. Maseta Kalikanda. Rima Sadira Kata Kayabo Shanta. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost. I intend to the heart. I intend to the mind. I intend to the body. I intend to the spirit. You the strong man. Controlling the heart. Controlling the spirit. Lose your hold. 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 In the name of Jesus. It's time for the God of Elijah to begin work. Maseta Katenda. Ribe Likatenda Yabash. Yes. Amen.